Hey there, welcome back to another quick unboxing video. This time I have a little uh, letter, uh, not really a letter, it was a card, a Christmas card that was sent to me by Travis, as well as a little something extra, and a package from Mike Martin. Um, the, Mike Martin is Mr. Anonymous, and uh, he sent me a package along with a letter where he wanted to be described as Mike. And, you know, I guess he felt it was disrespectful to consider him as Mr. Anonymous. But really, I only said that because he asked for it. And that's because I respect him. So, um, but he wants me to call him by his name, and I will do that. Because I really do consider him a really good friend. And, um, so, yeah, let's get started, shall we? Um, Travis sent me a Happy Holidays card. Just a nice little Happy Holidays card with a snowflake and everything. And it says, Happy Holidays to you and yours. Happy Holidays, Mike. Have a great December and January, Travis. I will. In fact, I've already had a really good December. I've had a great December. I've had an unbelievably fantastic December. I know a lot of people are going on Facebook and on making YouTube videos talking about a fuck 2016. I'm not one of those people though. This has been a pretty good year for me. Uh, December has been a nice one. I've had a good December. I have passed all my classes at Clark College. I have gotten my AA transfer degree. I won't get it until later because I didn't, I did not apply for graduation. So I'm going to have to wait a while, but hey, it is what it is. This is the definition of a first world problem. To sit here and moan and groan about, oh man, I'm going to wait a few couple months for my diploma. Uh. I mean, really. There's a lot of people who don't even have the ability to even get an education, let alone get a diploma for anything. But I'm really glad I'm done. I was getting really sick of the campus. I was really getting really sick of Clark College as I've just been there and, and for like years. So I'm looking forward to going to a new campus at Washington State, Washington State University in Vancouver. Um, uh, I am really looking forward to getting my minor in film studies. That is going to be really fun. I know some people will be like, well, it's not going to pay the bills. I, I'm like, if I'm going to get in debt, I'm already in debt. If I'm going to get myself in even more debt, I might as well do it going after and studying something that I'm genuinely passionate. I have a lot of passion for. And I think that will improve my content on YouTube I think, and, and hopefully improve my writing. So maybe I could end up becoming a writer and maybe publish some books. Maybe that's how I will make a living. I'll never know. And, I, and on, if I don't, end up taking classes like this it's going to help me learn skills that i need and to be able to criticize and analyze film even deeper than i already do so i think it, i look at it as a plus not a negative um i also got to interview somebody who worked as a director of photography on 300 different segments of unsolved mysteries with robert stack which is one of my favorite shows of all time it still is one of my favorite shows and uh, you guys can hear that interview if you go in on uh, Google and you search for Uncovering Unexplained Mysteries podcast, you should be able to find the SoundCloud link, iTunes link, a bunch of other links for it. And the most recent episode, episode 26, is the one that has that interview on it. Uh, Josh and I, Josh Cannon and I, we interviewed the DP uh, for the most recent episode. It's a nice little Christmas gift to our supporters. Now... Just a quick explanation for what happened to Uncovering un Unsolved Mysteries. I know there's a lot of people who love that podcast, love the stuff that I was posting on my channel. Uh, probably wondering what happened. Why aren't there any more? Why, 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 why are they not even on the channel anymore? Well, I had to delete them because of copyright reasons. John and Terry, John uh, Cosgrove and Terry Moyer uh, ended up, we got, uh, Josh got a little legal battle with them. It wasn't anything serious. Uh, it was just something over the trademark and stuff like that. So just to play it safe, I deleted the videos. But what I will try to do is set up a uh, special channel devoted particularly to 
uncovering unexplained mysteries. We rebranded. We had to do so. Josh had to do a lot of editing. Uh, a lot of the other previous podcasts uh, during the rebranding, which I got to give him a lot of uh, thanks. I, got, I, I mean, honestly, words can't express how thankful I am for Josh for all his hard work for uh, re-editing all of these different podcasts. Um, but anyway, if you did like that podcast, please go on on uh, SoundCloud, uh, look us up, look us up on iTunes, on Stitcher. Uh, we also have a Patreon. Uh, feel free to support us there if you want. Uh, if you pay, uh, you, if you pay for the higher tier, you can get a special bonus uh, segment that only higher patrons can, you know, have access to listen to. Um, also, if you become a patron, you can listen to the podcast a couple days earlier than uh, people who follow us on SoundCloud do. So anyway, just had to throw that out there. Because that's another reason why this has been great. I mean, that's one of the best Christmas gifts I could ever ask for, is to be able to talk to and speak to a guy who worked on one of my favorite shows. That was really, really cool. That's priceless. Um, also, my dad, he, he was able to get a semi-truck, so he has his own truck now. And so hopefully he'll be able to uh, get hauls and be able to drive up here in, uh, sometime next year and be able to see me more, which which is really, really cool. That's another great great Christmas gift. And also, you know, just uh, all of my new subscribers and, and friends, you know, that, that's been great too. That's been a wonderful blessing and a gift as well. Um, and that includes people like Mike Martin, who has been one of my best friends this year. Uh, it, we met on Facebook. It's been like, honestly, it's been like six months or something, or maybe a little bit longer than that. And it's like, we've known each other our whole lives. Like we, we almost think the same way. We have very similar tastes and things. Um, there's some things that we don't agree on, but you know, that's normal. And it would be weird if we liked and disliked everything. Um, I haven't felt this kind of connection with, uh, somebody on Facebook since, I, I, you know, since I met my friend Matt, so this is, this is really, really cool, and I'm, I've always, I've had a hard time finding friends outside of YouTube or Facebook, so it's nice to get more Facebook friends and, and more YouTube friends and, and more of you guys who are watching uh, the videos. So anyway, I know you probably, stop talking my ear off about how great your December was, let's get to the rest of the stuff, okay, all right. Um, but really, honestly, Travis, uh, I, you too, I hope you have a great December and January as well. Thank you for sending this, uh, holiday card. And, uh, also thank you to you guys and gals. I know there's a few of you. I know there's a few gals who are watching these videos. Uh, so I want to include you, you gals here. Um, thank you for watching, uh, my channel, uh, this year and hopefully there'll be more hours and hours of entertainment for you all uh, in the near future, you know, throughout 2017 and through, for the rest of this year. And I hope you all have a happy holidays and a wonderful new year. Now, he also sent me a movie monsters book. Travis sent me this. Uh, I think I remember having this when I was a kid, but I got rid of it because, oh, it's like a young adult book. It's not very detailed or something, but I'm glad to have it back. Because it's got some really nice old school photos, black and white photos in it. Some of them might be kind of rare, because I don't know. Some of these, you don't see a lot of these black and white photos for some of these older movies a lot. Um, you got King Kong here. And, you know, this is a nice little collector's item. Because this is a pretty old book, if I remember correctly. I think this is... We got some fun pictures, like there's a shot of... Jack Pierce working on the makeup for Boris Karloff's Frankenstein. And yeah, this is a pretty decently aged book by Stephen Daniels. 1980. This book is older than me. Held up pretty well. So that's uh, that's the stuff from Travis. Now, now we get to the stuff from Mike. Uh, this. I love this. He... he he totally knows what I like. Like, really. It's like he read my mind. For years, I've been like... Ever since I saw this movie when I was a kid, I was always 
drawn to this poster. I was like, oh, that's a cool, funny parody photo poster. Wouldn't it be fun to have that uh, on my wall? Well, now I have that chance. Now I will. Breeders of the Lost Stork. The uh, Howard the Duck, the Duck World parody of Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, Indiana Drake, the new hero from the creators of Beaks and Foul Wars. So, really, thank you, Mike. I'm going to put this up pretty soon, actually. I'll, I think I'll probably uh, take down the Shocker poster and put this up instead. It's around the same size. Um, he also sent me some books. Sent me the UFO files, which is pretty cool. It's like a bunch of uh, different... Uh, oh! got a bunch of uh, authors, modern day science fiction ma uh, uh, authors, they uh, share with, uh, they share in the book their visions of such close encounters. Um, I believe it's little short stories based on UFOs. Cool. So it's like a Twilight Zone sort of thing. It's like a, it's a book anthology. I do like these. I like the anthology uh, kind of books. The books that collect all these different short stories from different offers. Because it is. It's like reading an anthology. So, and, and that's pretty much what it is. It's an anthology. It's a science fiction UFO alien anthology book. Um, he also sent me Communion by Whitley Straber. I do have a copy of this already, but I will keep this. Because the, the copy that I have is buried somewhere in storage. And I'd rather keep this out. This is a really, I remember this being a really tense, disturbing, crazy-ass read. It's a pretty crazy movie, too, with uh, with uh, Christopher Walken. I would like to get the film on DVD for my collection, but the DVD's out of print and kind of hard to find. But I would like to get it, because it has some features on it that I think would be pretty cool. Communion also has one of the scariest tra teaser trailers I've ever seen in my life. I don't know, that trailer just really, it just unsettles me to my core. That just the trailer alone just unsettles me so much. It's just the imagery of the grays. It just juxtas juxta could I even say that word? Juxtaposed uh, with uh, with the this really creepy droning uh, music. Ugh. Just thinking about the teaser just freaks me out. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, this is a this is a good read if you're a fan of alien abductions and aliens and stuff. A true story, I don't know. A true story, air quotes, gets kind of crazy. So I don't even I don't know if I consider it a true story, but maybe it is, and that would be really truly terrifying. He also sent me this, a little mini plastic Dallas Cowboys helmet, which is really cool, uh, and you know it's. Fitting. I mean, it's a nice way to celebrate the their NFC East title this year and and first round by and uh, uh, the number one seed. So home field advantage thanks to the Eagles beating the Giants last night. Um, so thank you, Philadelphia. Thank you. That's a nice Christmas present. Thanks, Philly. I still hate you. I still think the Eagles suck. But you know, hey, that's just my personal opinion. And honestly, though, seriously, if you're a fan of the Eagles. I have no ill will towards you whatsoever. I don't have a problem with the Eagles fans. I don't have a problem with the Eagles players, technically. It's just as a rivalry. We all do it. Eagles fans do it to Dallas fans. And vice versa. So, um, anyway, I'm really... It's really nice to have this because it reminds me of my childhood. I remember having one of these because I... I I think my dad got it for me or somebody got it in one of those like 25, you put a quarter in and it, the plastic little helmet comes out. And I remember having one, I remember, ha I definitely do remember having one of these when I was a kid, but, and I, I carried it around pretty much everywhere. And I, it, it was so worn out eventually that all the decals wore off and you couldn't even tell that it was a cowboy's helmet because it was just the stripe down the middle and like a little bit of a star. So I really like that. So thank you. And uh, he sent me a few other things. Um, that's another reason why my 2016 doesn't suck. 
for 2016. Why? This is one of the best seasons my favorite NFL team has had in years. I mean, I would have never thought in a million years the season would have turned out as well as it has so far when Romo went down in that third preseason game. So I'm really thankful for that. And uh, hopefully, you know, there's it's going to get even more special. I feel I just I just I've never felt this way about a Cowboys team. I just this this might be Dallas's year, and that would be really really cool. That would be like the best present I could get for Christmas, and it could be belated, but whatever. I mean, the best Christmas present, other than you know being able to see my dad and and you know stuff that people might send me or things that I've gotten from my friends and my family and spending time with my my family this holiday season. The Cowboys winning the Super Bowl would just be immense. It would be a huge present for me. I've been waiting f to, to experience that euphoria and, and all of that that a lot of these other fans have, have already been able to experience. Uh, I, would, I would love to be able to see the Cowboys win a Super Bowl live. And I'd love to be able to, to also share that with my dad. So anyway... Um, Mike sent me Taken, the two disc extended cut. I do have this already, but what I will do, just like I'm doing with Communion, I will keep this ver this copy that you sent me and do something with the other one. I love his little touch here. He put a little handwritten note in here that said, Warning, if you like this movie, do not watch the sequels. <laughs> I love that. Um, I probably still will because, you know, for the channel, but thanks for the warning though. I will definitely, I, I will definitely approach those sequels with caution. And he also sent me Orphan on Blu-ray, which I'm really glad to have. Doesn't have the features that the Mexican release has for, has for some reason. I don't know why the release in Mexico or Spain has special features but the Orphan Blu-ray, I don't understand it. It is what it is. I like the film, though, as you can already see by my review of the movie. If you haven't seen it yet, just type in Orphan Movie Review on my channel. You should be able to find it. And I'm glad I'm glad I didn't buy the movie at a pawn shop. Because I saw it at a pawn shop for like a dollar, and I didn't get it. So I'm glad I didn't. Because uh, Mike sent me it on Blu-ray. He also sent me this. Sherlock Holmes. The Guy Ritchie film with uh, Robert Downey Jr., which I'm really glad to have because I love this movie. It's it's one of my favorite Sherlock Holmes film. Um, I think it's a really great film. I'm really glad to have it on Blu-ray. I had it on DVD, but I'm glad to have it on Blu-ray as an upgrade over the DVD. Uh, I got actually have a Christmas-related story for that movie. Um, I know this video is a bit long. It's not as quick as I thought it was going to be. Whatever. Um... <laughs> It's more of a, it's a it's a vlog slash unboxing, and I, I just I can't talk about this movie without mentioning this story. So this movie came out around Christmas, and around the same time when this movie was coming out in theaters, honest pretty much the exact same time, Christmas weekend. I was working at AMC, the AMC Theater in uh, Oklahoma City, over at the mall. And we were snowed in on Christmas Eve. There was no way that any of us could get out, out of the, the mall or get a ride because it was a blizzard. The snow was so piled, it was piled up so high that you couldn't even see outside. You could see like a sliver of the outside. You know, sliver of the clouds or the stars in the night sky, but that's really about it. Our manager was trying to be a douchebag, as usual, trying to be like, Why do they have to stay? Why can't they get a cab? Why can't they get a ride? Because there's no cabs running in the middle of a fucking blizzard, Shane. Sorry. God, have some compassion. You don't have to worry about it because you're at home. Anyway, eventually he, re he, had to, he relented. He had to. So a bunch of the managers... Uh, and a bunch of the employees, including myself, uh, we ended up staying the night at the theater on Christmas Eve, and we actually watched Sherlock Holmes before everyone else did, before it came out on Christmas. So I got a early screening of Sherlock Holmes in IMAX, 
and uh, on Christmas Eve. So I, I will always remember that because it's such a memorable story. You get snowed in on Christmas Eve, having to st spend the night at work, at the movie theater, at the mall, and then have to get up the next day and work on Christmas Day. And then we got swamped. We got killed by some Christmas rush that came out of nowhere. I don't know why. It's the day after a fucking blizzard. And people are like, oh, well, Timmy and, Ty J Timmy and uh, Jimmy, they want to go see a movie. They want to see the Alvin the Chipmunks movies. It's Christmas tradition. Like, it was a fucking blizzard outside last night. You guys are crazy. I mean, seriously. I would think you put safety over Christmas movie tradition. But nope, people drove in with their snow chains on and all the craziness. And the icy drove on the icy roads and there's snow everywhere. And they, they, they got to the theater and, man, we got killed. But, uh... It died down after a bit, though, in the afternoon, and then we were let go. We were let off work early for Christmas. So, um, yeah. So, thank you for Sherlock Holmes on Blu-ray. I really, really like that. And uh, he also sent me a letter. And these letters like this, especially when they're handwritten, and even if they're typed, that's those are honestly probably even more valuable to me in a lot of ways than some of these movies. These movies are great. I, I, I will definitely take them. I love having these, you know, type of gifts for my collection. But when somebody puts their heart and soul on paper, that means the world to me. It means a lot. I know it sounds sappy, but it's true. Dear Mike, I hope you like the Christmas gifts I got you. It's not much, and I wish I could have given you more. Like I said, it... It's a lot. Just just handwriting, spending the time to write a letter to me, that's that's enough as it is. Um, it's the thought that counts, especially around this holiday season. You didn't have to send me anything, and, and you went out of your way to do that, so thank you. And you went out of your way to write this letter. Because I wish I could, could have given you more, because you're a great friend, and I can't think of anyone else who deserves gifts more than you. And I mean it. Whereas other YouTubers put on fake personas, you remain just as kind and humble off-camera as you are on-camera. And if it wasn't for all your fucking swearing, you'd be a saint. Lol. <laughs> and that's totally true. Yeah, I'd be a fucking saint. Be a fucking saint, that's for sure. But seriously, Mike, as a young guy with Asperger's and no male role, male role models in his life, I appreciate you taking me under your wing and for always looking out for me. Whenever I'm dealing with stupid drama in my life, you try to cheer me up. I can't thank you enough for being the person who helps me back up when life knocks me down. That right there. I mean, that is one of the best gifts I could ever get from somebody. Is that kind of reciprocation of acknowledging and appreciating whatever little help that I might be giving somebody because honestly if I could if these videos can just make somebody's shitty day better just one person then it's all worth it and if I can do something in my life to help make somebody else's life better I'm gonna do it and to see that actually have an impact that just hits me right here I know it's sappy I know you could say, oh, that's schmaltzy, oh, you know, but I mean it. That's the truth. That, that's that's powerful. And I, I just get kind of, I get choked up. I get choked up thinking about it because I've been where Mike's been. This Mike's been there. You know, I see a lot of myself in him. It, you know, we not just because we have a lot of the same interests, but I've been exactly where he's been you know, struggling with Asperger's and, and trying to find their, find his way in life. I've been there and I've overcome it. And so I, I, I just feel like it's my obligation to help somebody, to reach out and help somebody who is dealing with the same things that I've dealt with and to do whatever I can to make their lives better. 
And, you know, Mike's a great guy. He's a great person. He's got a really big heart. And I want him to have a great life. I want him to have a life that is as great as his heart is, his soul, and everything. And I think he deserves that. And I'm willing to fight for that. I'm willing to do whatever I can to, to cheer him up, to pick him, ba pick him back up if he falls down. I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that for anybody who comes out and, you know, asks me for help or, you know, things like that. Just the type of guy I am. So, he continues, he says, and I regret telling you not to say my name when I send you stuff. I feel like I'm disrespecting you by having you call me Mr. Anonymous. It sounds like I don't want people to know I'm friends with you. Like I said, that's, that's not what I thought. I just did it out of respect to you. Uh, some people just don't want to be known. Some people want to be, you know, the kind of just unknown guy, you know, who's just being an, an unknown benefactor, so to speak. And uh, he said, that cannot be farther from the truth. That's why I want you to call me by my real name from now on. My name is Mike Martin, and it's honor, an honor to be your friend. I wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Same to you, Mike. And I feel the same way. It's an honor to be your friend and uh, just to, to be able to discuss and chat with and hang around, you know, on Facebook with such a wonderful guy, such a great, humble, kind-hearted person like you. So, um, yeah, I, I know this has been long, kind of long in the tooth and kind of some sappy stuff, but hey, it's the holiday season. It's 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 the time to put a little love in your heart. Don't be Frank Cross. Really, honestly, to all those people who are saying fuck 2016, don't dwell on the negatives. Don't dwell. There's no reason to dwell on the shitty things that have happened this year. Don't dwell on the election. Don't dwell on the celebrity deaths. Remember the good times. Put a little love in your heart and don't be Frank Cross this Christmas. Anyway, uh, yeah, thank you for uh, watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, I'm going to try to get some stuff up in time for Christmas. Um, I'll probably record some reviews later or I'll record some reviews early in the morning tomorrow before I head out to go visit my aunt. Um, but I'm going to be pretty busy tomorrow and Christmas. I'm going to be going out to my aunt's on Christmas Eve. And I'm going to be going out to my grandma's on Christmas. So... I might not be able to get much extra posted on my channel on Christmas Eve and Christmas. But the plan is to get reviews of Game Over, La Pierre Noel up either tonight or tomorrow morning, as well as Krampus. And I do want to get a review of Santa Slay up. But we'll see what happens. It just depends on what time I have. And if I don't have the time, I don't have the time. And maybe I'll just have to post it after Christmas. Um, but anyway, if I get something up, I'll get something up and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. But anyway, I've talked your ear off long enough. Also, I got a bunch of stuff I'm going to show in a post, uh, after, after Christmas update. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, all I got to say is thank you guys for watching and I hope you guys have uh, happy holidays and a really wonderful, fantastic, uh, eventful and uh, cheerful and really, really good. Happy, New Happy New Year! Really, I do. I want, I want 2017 to be much better for those of you who felt that 2016 was one of the worst years ever. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you guys later. See ya.